Hey y'all, Wade here. Just got back from a West Texas run this week. And this one was quite incredible. A little different than the others. I saw two things. Well, one I haven't seen in a long time. The other one I have, except it's different. I'll explain it in a second. First thing was, I grew up in West Central Michigan, out in the country, so nighttime, it wasn't unusual to see a sky full of stars, and in the stars, the Milky Way. You know, it was just kind of common. I always loved it back then, but just seeing that was incredible. Lived in cities for quite a while now, and while I was in West Texas this time, a cold friend had gone through, the skies were totally clear. I was able to pull over at a what they call a picnic area, which is a spot with a table and a little roof over it, and no lights. No neighbors around. I mean, it's out in the middle of nowhere. So I pulled over, shut the lights off on the truck, got out, looked up, and sure enough, just as clear as can be, the Milky Way, along with all the stars. And it's just been so long since I had seen that. I just stood there for 15 minutes or so, just soaking it in. Just honoring God by Him being magnified by my worshiping Him by just seeing His creation that way. And then the second thing I saw, I saw earlier that day, was snow. What's unusual about this snow is it's at least 80 degrees outside. And I swear these fields were just loaded with snow. Not every field, but certain fields. I actually caught some of it drifted by the restaurant I stopped at for dinner and picked up a bag of it. Look at this. It hasn't melted yet. It's incredible. I mean, it just clumped together so soft. And Well, okay, before you start calling me a stupid Yankee, see the plant scraps in here. This is actually cotton. Cotton from the fields that had been harvested. See, there's different parts of the plant still in it, but it's just soft. This is what they make t-shirts and denim jeans out of and other things. It's just natural cotton. And at one point, I just rolled my window down, hit video record on the camera, and stuck it out the window. This is what I saw. Now, I can't tell me that doesn't bring a verse to mind from the King James Version. John chapter 4 is Jesus talking to the Samaritan woman at the well, and he says, the fields are white for harvest. Pray that God brings harvesters. Just seeing fields white like that, it's just definitely brought that to mind. So I know the time is short. You can tell by watching the news how beheadings for Christians and how Christians in different parts of the world, even in this country, United States, are being vilified and we're made the enemy. Even though Jesus told us to love each other and love our enemies, and for some reason that's not acceptable. So it's a very good sign that the, the end is near. So the harvest is ready, and we need to get out there and bring as many people into the kingdom by inviting them, by loving them into the family, by showing them we care, by meeting their needs. So let's get out there and magnify God by building his kingdom because the fields are white for harvest.